Lecture 42, Deploying on Web. We'll be hosting our Flutter web application on GitHub pages. To do that, first we'll create a new GitHub repository, named it Sensats. After that, first we'll push our complete project to GitHub. Great, now our project is successfully pushed to GitHub. Now to deploy our project we will be using something known as PNAT, which is used to simplify the process of deployment. Here we want our build and project files in a single repository, but it cannot be used when we have an existing repository that we have to make changes to. First we'll activate the PNAT tool by executing the command flutter pub global activate PNAT. After PNAT is activated, we need to run the PNAT tool to generate our web app build files for that run. It will build our project into a temporary directory, and then it will update the local GH pages branch with the build output. Now we have two branches, the main branch contains our Flutter source code and the GH pages branch contains build files. Now let's push our GH pages branch to GitHub as well. Now as we can see, we've two branches. The pages build and deployment action. After it is successfully deployed we can access our web app. But now while looking at the console output, it shows that the server responded with a status of 404. We will talk about this error and fix it in the next lecture. Thank you.